In this demo, we are going to showcase how your data center network can be treated as code with the help of Big Cloud Fabric. We want to show you how Big Cloud Fabric make it easy to adapt workflows that are more prevalent in software development. Using today's modern practices, software developers are able to get production ready code in a matter of minutes. However, in the networking world, even a simple config change requires a rigorous change control process and a whole lot more time. We will walk through a scenario of a network team who uses a source code management system to manage its network configurations. Team members are using a code review model to manage the network changes. For example, before changing any network configurations, team member would submit the proposed changes. It then gets reviewed by the team. And if everything looks good, it gets committed. Finally, those changes will be pushed to the network using a configuration templating system. For this demo, we are using Ansible, Git, and Ansible Tower to show the workflows. But any of these can be replaced by your own choice. Big Cloud Fabric provides a single interface to your whole network. Just like the name suggests, you manage your whole network like one big switch. We have an unified REST-based API as a foundation, and both our CLI and GUI components build up on top of that. Because of both these reasons, you can very quickly build up automation and DevOps workflows. Let's log into the Big Cloud Fabric. As I mentioned, our CLI and GUI are clients of the underneath REST API infrastructure. As a result, when you execute commands in the CLI, it will invoke the REST API to get its work done. So it's very easy to automate functions in this model. All you need is to figure out what you want to automate, look at what the API call is, and stick that API call into your favorite programming language. For example, if I do a command like show tenant here, it will show me what tenants are configured in the fabric. Now, if you want to perform these actions programmatically, you don't need any other documentation. All you need to do is enable debug rest and it will show you the exact rest calls you need for your program. After you hit debug rest, it will show you all the rest API paths. In this case, we are interested in this particular get request. So if you want to programmatically look at the configured tenants in the fabric, you need this particular get request from the show tenant command. Next, I'll show you an example Ansible workflow where I'm going to manage Big Cloud Fabric configurations using playbooks. Let's go ahead and look at the Ansible files. Here's my Ansible playbook file. Ansible playbooks provides a very intuitive way to manage network configurations. In here, I'm asking for three variables from the user. Controller information, tenant name, and the state of this tenant. Whether they want this tenant to be present in the fabric or delete from the fabric. Let's go ahead and edit this BCF tenant module to create and delete tenants for us. This is the BCF tenant function. In here, we are saving the controller, tenant and state information we got from the user. This is where we log into the fabric. Now let's write some code to create a tenant if user defines the state as present in the playbook file. Now we have to figure out what API call we need to create a tenant. Let's go back to the Big Cloud Fabric. I'm creating a tenant called test. And as you can see, we need a put request in here. We can decode this rest path to see the actual characters and stick that into our code. We'll parameterize these values so that we can accept any names. And that's pretty much it. By the way, if you are a GUI user, you can get the same API information from there too. For example, let's go to the GUI and navigate to the tenants page. Let's delete the tenant we just created before. And here is the exact REST path output for that delete request. Now let's assume you want to manage these templates and modules so that everyone in your team can contribute and review each other's work before you make any network config changes. One of the easiest ways to attain this goal would be to have a central repository, such as a Git project. Then you can use the pull request model to manage these changes and a service such as Ansible Tower to automatically push those changes to the Big Cloud Fabric. You can use GitHub, Bigbucket, or your own private repo. In here, I'm using GitHub and I've created a repo called Ansible. Here's the playbook file we had. And if I run this playbook, we would be able to create a tenant called AutoTenant1. To push the changes to the Big Cloud Fabric, when someone commits to the central repository, I'm using Ansible Tower. Here's my Tower setup. 
and I have a project called BCF which I have mapped to my centralized Git repo. In order to run the playbook, I'm going to use this job template file which essentially points to the bcf.yaml playbook file we have on the repository. Let's go ahead and run this playbook by starting a job. It says the configuration got changed, but let's verify that on the Big Cloud Fabric as well. Now assume some other user in your team wants to add a logical router and a segment to this tenant. They can get this done by editing the playbook file and sending the changes via a pull request. You can review the changes. In this case, we can see the other user is going to add a segment and a logical router to this tenant. And you can gatekeep the configuration change management process via this model. If everything looks okay, you can merge the pull request in here and then you can trigger an Ansible Tower job to push the changes to the Big Cloud Fabric. It says that changes were successful, and if we go back, we would see the updated configurations. So in conclusion, Big Cloud Fabric gives you very unique and easy capabilities to program on top of your whole network infrastructure. You can easily extend these simple examples to manage very complex use case scenarios. Check out the BSN Labs for more information. Thank you for watching.